While U.S. officials express the view that the BRICS grouping meeting in the Russian city of Kazan is not evolving into a geopolitical rival, analysts say BRICS members are working on issues that could further decouple them from Western influences. Among the topics discussed between members Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa are ways to establish an alternative payment system that would not be dependent on the U.S. dollar, a BRICS digital currency, and an alternative to Western financial institutions like the International Monetary Fund. China, Russia, and Iran are countries that face severe trade restrictions imposed by the United States have been particularly keen about advancing BRICS' stated goals and circumventing what they regard as illegal sanctions. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi indicated at the BRICS meeting that he was equally interested. We welcome efforts to increase financial integration among BRICS countries. Trade in local currencies and smooth cross-border payments will strengthen our economic cooperation, Modi said. Russian State Duma Speaker Vyacheslav Volodin, writing ahead of the two-day meeting on the cloud-based messaging app Telegram, said the BRICS priorities reflect the divide between the West and the South. The time of the hegemony of Washington and Brussels is passing. Countries choose the path of equal dialogue and mutually beneficial cooperation in the interests of people, and not to please the U.S. and its minions, he said. U.S. officials say they are not concerned. We're not looking at BRICS evolving into some kind of geopolitical rival. That's not how we look at it, to the U.S. or anyone else, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said Monday at a press briefing. Meanwhile, India's Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping met Wednesday on the sidelines of the BRICS meeting, signaling a thaw in relations between the two sometimes adversarial nations that some analysts suggest could have geopolitical implications. Two days before the BRICS meeting, Indian and Chinese officials agreed to resolve the vexing issue of their militaries patrolling along the India-China border. The goal is to ensure that both sides pull back troops from advanced positions in disputed areas and return to the situation that existed before the last border conflict in 2020. We welcome the consensus reached on the issues that have arisen in the last four years along the border. It should be our priority to ensure there is peace and stability along our border, Modi told she during the initial minutes of the meeting, which was telecast live. She responded saying that the rapprochement was in the fundamental interests of both countries. Analysts are trying to gauge what prompted India to seek rapprochement with Beijing when it is closely tied to U.S.-led arrangements meant to counter China's influence. India plays a key role in the United States' Indo-Pacific strategy and the Washington-led Quadrilateral Security Dialogue, Quad, involving Japan, India, Australia, and the United States. China views the Quad, which regularly holds exercises among the militaries of the four member countries, as a group bent on hurting its interests. Being a part of the Quad is not helping India, which needs support in countering China's military challenge in the Himalayan mountain region. Besides, the U.S. is developing a relationship with Pakistan, which is against India's interest, P. Stobden, former Indian diplomat and author, told VOA. The Chinese media quoted Lin Min Wang, a professor at the Institute of Strategic Studies and International Security in Fudan University, as saying that India is seeking reconciliation with China because the United States has not supported its efforts to develop its manufacturing sector. India's policy that aims at decoupling from China has failed to attract meaningful support from the U.S.-led West to help made in India and the country's modernization and industrialization, Lin said. This proves that India can't profit from being hostile to or decoupling from China, and it is even making it difficult for India to realize its own development, he added. Some experts believe the United States would not be surprised at the turn of events. The U.S. knew all along that India and China would connect at some point. There are strong political and economic reasons for them to engage with each other, said Manaranjan Mohandi, a China expert based in New Delhi.